I believe that every, a lot of what's in here tonight is, is relating exactly where we are as a church, as a local body. And I believe that we have the privilege of being part of a remnant. I believe yes, that, uh, yes. that as a remnant church, there will always be found faithful. God said, I will always yes, have a remnant. Okay, so let's get into this and we'll go for a while. Acts chapter 10, verse 1. There was a certain man in Caesarea called, called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called of the Italian band. Now let me just say this, that this is right after, this is right after Saul is called by God to be Paul the Apostle. He's on the road to Damascus in Acts chapter 9. There's been a tremendous transformation. Now let me back up just a little bit further so that, because this is coming in here just a little bit. To understand really what's happening is that uh, when it came to the, all the disciples are following Jesus, it came to the Garden of Gethsemane, the crowds went down, the multitudes left, and the Bible says everyone of the disciples forsook him. Okay, so Jesus then after the resurrection, uh, they all forsook him because they wanted to preserve themselves rather than die to self. Mm. Danger to self caused him to flee. Yes. And when we come to our own personal Gethsemane, many people will flee from, what, from the death. Uh, no death, no resurrection. Yes. Okay, so then Jesus says yes. in John, I'm sorry, Luke 24, 49, tarry until you are due with power. Yes. The very people that forsook him and walked away from God, um, betrayed him, had the faith to confess their sin, to repent, to climb up into the upper chamber and yes. tarry until. Okay, so they went to the, the upper chamber and they prayed. The same people who had made mistakes, who failed, uh, had the faith. Yes. They climb up there because Jesus said, Terry and tell. So they climb into the upper chamber. There's an outpouring in Acts chapter 2. We're very familiar with that. Now what happens is, there's a momentum. Okay, so they receive a strong touch from God. In Acts chapter 2, there's an outpouring of the Spirit. Uh, the tongues of fire, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. There's a, there's a revival. There is an awakening. Okay, now what we're going to see, that many things begin to happen, that Satan then begins to activate to try to stop before you. Before you see the end of Acts chapter 2, they're mocking them, ridiculing them, saying you're drunk in your wine because they've been received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the evidence of speaking in tongues. Okay, so what we're, what we're going to see that various things happen when, when in Acts chapter 3 you saw the lame man healed and then that rose up. All kind of persecution against them which got them scattered. And <clears throat> so in Acts chapter 9 is where the, one of the key people of the persecution, Saul, is knocked to the ground by Jesus to become Paul the Apostle. <clears throat> so the very people that that uh, are working against what God wants to do in your life or in the church, or in the kingdom of God, God can can so change, radically change them, that change it from being a Saul to killing Christians, to putting them in prison, yes, yes. to making them a great Lord. Apostle, Paul the Apostle. <laughs> okay, so that's, he, sa he saved in Acts chapter 9. We're going to pick up the story in Acts chapter 10. Okay, there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man. Now listen to how the Holy Spirit describes him. A centurion of the band, a devout man, and one that feared God with all of his house, which gave much alms to the people, and listen, verse, and, and listen to the next one, the fifth thing, and pray to God always. Amen. Pray to God always, okay? Now, <clears throat> what is he doing? He's praying, Amen. and he's saw a vision. Yeah. Now let me just put my, my title in there to that. Prayer activates God. Amen. Amen. Prayer yes. activates <coughs> God. It's yes. my title tonight. Now what is he doing? He's praying. And what happened? And we're going to see different things happen when people pray. <clears throat> okay, so he prays. He's praying to God always, and he's saw a vision. Okay. What, what I'm saying is, is that... Uh, there's a place in God when you get, when we get right, we stay right. Amen. There's a place of holiness with God that you have such relationship with God. You have such an open heaven with God. You have these visitations of the Spirit Amen. that are much Amen. more powerful than anything Amen. the world has to offer. Any yeah. alcohol, any Amen. drugs, and yeah. any immorality, any Amen. toys yeah. that you can buy. Anything or anyone is so much bigger and better, yeah. more powerful and purer than anything that the world has to offer. Yes. Okay, so he's in this place where he's praying to God always, says he's a devout man, he gave, he gave much alms to the people, the word alms there, he gave mercy, uh, compassion. He's, so he sees in a vision, verse 3, he sees in a vision, evidently around the ninth hour of the day, 
an angel of God coming into him and saying to him, Cornelius. So he's praying, and he has this vision, and the angel of God come into him and says, Cornelius. And when he looked upon him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And mm -hmm. let me just inject this, that uh, for those of you that's read the trilogy and uh, the book, The Path by Rick Joyner, the Rick Joyner has a very specific anointing. And every di different people have different callings, different anointings, and different giftings. And uh, his gifting is prophetic visions and, and revelations. Mm -hmm. And so he's got this cabin in this mountain, Rick Joyner does, and he goes up there, and, and many times he's scared. He's scared because... Angels begin to appear to him, and, and you, you may say, well, you, you ought not to be afraid. Well, Amen. <laughs> there's, you have, there's certain visitations of God that you put, you don't put your chest out <coughs> seven times, I think. Amen. You realize how big you are, you, how big God is, and how yes, little we are. Lord. And that, that brings what we call the fear of the Lord. Yes. Okay, yes, so Lord. this angel appears to him, he has this vision, this angel comes to him and calls his name, Cornelius. And when he looked upon him, he was afraid. He said, what is it, Lord? And they said unto him, now listen, now this is very important. We, we really got to grasp it because my title to that is prayer activates God. This guy is praying. He has this vision. The angel comes to him. And he says, what is the Lord? And he says, your prayers and your alms are come up for a memorial before your God. Wow. Your prayers... Amen. And that which you've done to help the people on their journey, the word uh, memorial means a reminder to record in order to keep alive the memory of someone or something. It's a memorial. Now, he has it, he's praying, he's a devout man, he's right with God. Another, i got about two, two and a half hours of, of teaching on scriptures that, that, uh, that, hinder our prayers being heard and answered by God. In other words, if you got unforgiveness, if, if you have unforgiveness towards one, then you're not forgiven, and that's really going to hinder your prayers. Right. It's, it's kind of a long, drawn-out thing, and, and I have to do it two different sessions, and so maybe I'll just do it a little bit at a time. But Now, he has this visitation, and, he's, and the Word said, Now send, verse 5, Now send men to Joppa, and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. Call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodging with one Simon, a tanner, who houses by the seaside, and he shall tell you what you ought to do. Wow. Now, basically, God is in, in response to Cornelius' prayer, That's so sends to him an angel. Amen. Wow. That is so awesome. He sends to him an angel, not to That's preach good. to him, but to wow. lead him to a preacher, Peter. Yes. Come on, Saint. Yeah, that's Sends the angel to him, not to yeah. preach to him, <coughs> but to lead him. Now, what I'm saying is, there's this is very like one, two, three, four, five. There's a connection of the dots. Somebody's praying, God hears, and so there's a the God's connecting to God, the dots. And so when what I'm saying is that if we really do Christianity in in a biblical manner, you will be so fulfilled and so satisfied Amen. that I was uh, I was really in the sports, I was really in the drugs, I was really in the, the party scene, and what I found, the th walking in the Spirit is the most exciting life, yeah. being led by the Spirit, having visitations of God, is better than walking in the Amen. energy of the flesh. Or better, the kingdom of God is better than the world. Yes. But there's a way that, to do this and one of the main things I want to say tonight is that, that you're going to see all these dots and God begin to connect the dots and what you're going to see the real Christianity is so, so, so exciting, so fulfilling, so challenging, so rewarding, it's better than anything that the world has to offer. Okay, so he says, so he says, now I'm going to send, now send me to Java and call for one Simon whose surname is Peter and he's, he's there. Now what, what we're talking about, he, you talk about specific information. He's telling him his name is uh, Simon, whose surname is Peter. He's, he's there with one Simon a Tanner, whose house is by the seaside, and he that shall tell awesome. you what you ought to do. Wow, that's powerful. Isn't that powerful? That is powerful. Now, I know, but... <laughs> what, now, there was a prophetic word 
tonight. There was tongues interpretation. And their interpretation was obedience is the key yeah. to victory. Yeah. Okay, disobedience brings consequences. The consequences are to get our attention to awaken us. And I call it a Holy Ghost slap. I'm not yeah. talking about it physically. I'm talking about a Holy Ghost slap. Yeah. I don't get my way. And that gets yeah. my attention. I get visible. And the consequence, right. the sin, is to make us aware about God. This is quicksand. Yeah. I better get back upon the rock yeah. Yeah. before I sink. Okay? Yeah. 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 Okay, so what we're seeing here is that I mean, God, God just could have given him a word. God could have told the angel. But he says, I want you, I want you to send him to Joppa. I want you to, to, a, to a certain person, to Peter, who is at a certain person's house. And there he will tell you what to do. Now, what we're looking at, what we're going to see is connection here between Cornelius and Peter. That's why I said this about Acts chapter 9. There was a connection when, uh, remember when uh, uh, Saul, who Jesus is going to make it to Paul the Apostle, he blinds him, puts the blind, knocks him down off of his high horse, he's down on the ground, and then Saul was saying, who are, who are you, Lord? And I'm, I'm Jesus, whom you are persecuting. So then blindness comes upon Saul, and God says, Jesus himself says to Saul, Arise and go to Damascus. Now, he, now, in other words, what if he never went to Damascus? Right. Mm -hmm. Arise and go to Damascus, and I'll tell you there what you must do. Right. Now, many times we hear, we hear a voice, God will tell us what to do or what not to do. Okay, so God would tell us specifically what to do. And so in my early years, I'd poof up my chest. Like, God told me, God, God give me this word. But I never did what God told me to do. And I missed my divine appointment. Right. What if Saul did not go to Damascus or he met with Ananias? Okay. Secondly, what about Ananias? Ananias is told by God, I want you to go to Saul. And I want you to lay your hands upon him and pray for him. Because he's a chosen vessel. And I'll show him what great things he must suffer. See how God's connecting the, the yeah. dots? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That could Jesus have done something to Saul on the road to Damascus, but he's testing his obedience. Yeah. Yeah. He, take, he gives them a word. Uh, let's just kind of put this in here, that there are people that come to church uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, and they're told constantly what, what to do to win, and they don't do it. And so then when things don't work out, Christianity doesn't work for phonics. No. They That's why God. dead phony religion is so popular. That's where the most yes. do it, because they don't want the real That's Jesus. Right. They play church games, yeah, okay? Lord. Okay, so uh, truth truth just has a way of separating the sheep and goats. Amen. Okay, to strong strong meat truth. Amen. Okay, so there's a as what we're going to see here as uh Ananias was greatly used in the life of Saul to make him into Paul. We're going to see there's a connection here between Cornelius and Peter. A tremendous thing is going to happen. And what I'm saying to you, that to bring this where you and I are living, God will going to have someone in your life. Praise God. Amen. God will put someone in your life. Come on, say, they're going to connect. Come yes. on, there's going to be a connection. Amen. And God will use them to change and revolutionize your life. Yeah. Yeah. Or to save you, yeah. get you baptized in the Holy Spirit, get you healed, get you new, get you restored, to bring you the word that you that you need. Amen. God will put people within your life. Amen. And so God, God, see, God is so wise that He, I, I know. I'm not to get up your nerves, but I, I, this is just so real to me that God, over and over again, see, this is so constant. This is not a one-time thing. God will give you a word, and that word there be the same. Yeah. Then God, in His wisdom, He just stands back, and He knows. Okay, He knows, okay? Will I come into alignment with the assignment where I poof out my chest and say, God, give you a word? But it's not the hearers that are justified, it's the doers. Okay, so then God wants to tell us something to do, but he's he and what activates God when we begin to do it. That's when you really activate God. Okay, so this Cornelius guy, this this Cornelius guy, he's a devout man. He's praying, and it, he activates God within his life. You ever just? Have you ever been in a place in your prayer life that that uh, there's a there's a place of being praying with other people can be a very big distraction. Because when you get low with God, God comes down upon you. You're going to have a church. Yeah, yeah. It's so powerful. It's so oh, real. Yeah. And I, I'm totally believing. I totally believe in corporate prayer. 
And there's a corporate anointing in the back end, and there's nothing stronger than the corporate anointing. Okay, let me, i got to keep this move so I don't get too bogged down. Okay, so he burst, at the end of our slide there, he loved, or verse 8, he loved him with one Simon the Tanner, whose house is by the seaside, and he will tell you what you ought to do. Verse 7, and when the angel which spoke to Cornelius was departed, he called two of his household servants, a, do, a devout soldier of them that waited on him continually. And when he declared these things unto them, he sent them to Joppa. See, while God was preparing Cornelius, God was preparing a Jewish preacher by the name of Peter. Amen. Come on, Saint. Yes. Now watch, watch how this all, all developed. To me, to me this, this is just like very, very powerful. Okay, we're going to, uh, verse 9, on the morrow they went to the journey, they drew nigh to the city. Now, remember what said that Cornelius, what was, what was Cornelius doing when the angel came? He was praying. He was praying. Yes. Okay, now he's praying in verse 9. Now they go to Peter, okay, verse 9, and on the, the next day, as they went on their journey, they drew nigh to the city, and Peter went up upon the housetop to pray. Peter went up upon the housetop to pray. Hey, now, let me just, when I was studying this, it just kind of came to me. When I remember King David, you know, giant killing David, anointed David, dancing David. Uh, remember the Bible said when kings, when it was time for kings to go to the battle, of the, then David stayed home yeah. and he went down the rooftop and he saw Bathsheba. <laughs> he saw Bathsheba, he sent for Bathsheba, and he sinned with Bathsheba, all downhill from there. Yes. Amen? Amen? Now, so David's on the rooftop because he lost the fight. Yes. Yeah. The fight went out of him. Yeah. So he's, David's on the rooftop and he's not praying, he's looking at <laughs> but Peter's on the rooftop and he is so then there's a connection here so did God know all this is going to be happening okay? okay so Peter so they come they come to Joppa and where do they find Peter he's on the he's on the rooftop praying my God. So awesome. Amen. He went up over the house up to pray about the sixth hour. So awesome. there's, there's his secret way. Oh. And he became very hungry and he wouldn't eat. Now he's on this fan. He, yes. he, he, he became very hungry and he wouldn't eat. While they were, while they made ready, he fell into a trance. A trance. Amen. He's on the rooftop playing, praying. Now remember, Cornelius is praying Amazing. and he has a vision. Yeah. And he has a vision, wow. angels coming to him, and the angels speaking to him, wow. and giving him a word, and in the word there was an assignment. Yeah. Wow. So he comes into a land of the assignment, how exciting. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. From one thing to another, every day is so exciting, yeah. you can't wait to get up. Yeah. You can't wait to get up. Yeah. Okay, so now, they go to Joppa where, where Peter is, and now remember, Cornelius is praying, and he has a vision. Yeah. Peter's praying, wow. and he goes into a trance. Amen. Mm. Uh, real Christianity is not boring. Yeah, right. Hallelujah. Uh, before before I went up to Bible college, I was given a prophetic word of the church that I was that I was going to, and the prophetic word was, "You shall receive a revelation of the heart of God that shall change and transform and revolutionize your life." So I was at Christ Foundation about two months, and I was sitting there reading. I remember one day, uh, it was on a Tuesday. I can remember it was on a Tuesday, and I got up on a Tuesday, and I said, "God, I." I that prophecy had a prophetic word that I would see a revelation of the heart of God that would change the revolution as my life. So I said, God, give me that revelation. Amen. Amen. So that was on a Tuesday, and I go to classes on Tuesday. Tuesday night, I go to chapel. They have a Tuesday night chapel. So I go to Tuesday night chapel, and I go to the prayer room to pray. But there was no room in the prayer room to pray. So many people were praying. Amen. Amen. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wish that was me. Did we, could we have worked one or two more people in here for pre-service prayer tonight? Did we have, did we have space? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have space for one or two more? Oh, it I want to invite you to pre-service prayer. <laughs> yeah. I want to invite you to Saturday prayer tomorrow. Yes. Okay, so I go, I go to the prayer, go to the Tuesday night chapel, and there are so many people in the prayer room, it was a sardine anointing. Wow. I go like, wow. So I go behind the curtain, and I get down my knees in a little metal chair like we got in the, in the fellowship hall, I get down the chair and I go to a trance. Mm -hmm. And I'm like way up, I'm like in the second heaven, way up in the Amen. second heaven. And that's why we always have the lighted, the lighted globe. Everywhere I go, I have a lighted globe because I'm way up in heaven and I saw earth and I felt, I felt how God felt 
I, I saw earth and I read that this is earth and all of a sudden out of me was a volcanic eruption and I went into intercession. It was supernatural intercession where the Spirit of God was praying to me and I felt how God feels toward people. Amen. Hurting, wounded, devastated, broken, lost people. Yeah. I felt God's heart Amen. and it changed, revolutionized my life. And when I came, when I started coming back into my body, it transit, it's like, that's what Paul said, I don't know, in, in the body, out of the body, I don't know. Amen. And so, so it's, it's like your body, you, you're, you're not really there. You're just, you're so in the spirit, it's just another Amen. realm. And so when I came back into my, before I came back into my body, I heard my voice roaring in a tongue like I never prayed before. God, and like you see the cartoons, how, how they exaggerate water squirting out of their eyes. That's how tears were coming out of my eyes, and I felt the very heart of God, and I was moved like God's, like God's move over hurting, wounded, devastated, yes. broken people. Oh, okay, so to put this together, let's just begin to connect the dots here. Cornelius yes. is a devout man, and he's praying, and he has this vision. Wow. So here, here's Cornelius, and Peter's over there, God, and God wants Cornelius to get the people to go to Peter, and so Peter's there on the rooftop praying. Amen. Okay, so then Peter is praying, and he goes into a trance. Supernatural visitation, manifestation of the Spirit of God. Yeah. When you begin to be with God that way, you get into oh, a place yeah. where God is that real to you. It will change your life. Yeah. You'll yeah. never, 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 never go back. Because Amen. the things of God are so much better than that back there. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You've got to get to that place. You've got to, you've got to separate. you got to come out from among them. Okay, so, so he goes into the trance. And he, and he saw heaven open, and a certain vessel descending into him that had been a great sheet knitted to four corners and led down to the earth. That's basically, to, to save the time here, I want to. I just want to bring this to you. Basically, he gets this revelation to, to start to think that at this time, the only people who had covenant with God was the Hebrew children, the Jewish people. The only people who had covenant with God. God is going to give Peter a revelation that the gospel is not only for, not just for one ethnic group, not just one group of people, yes. that the gospel will also be, with the New Testament, the gospel is going to be for the Gentile, and then with the non-Jew, non-covenant people. Yes. And you're going to see, it's going to be for every nation. Imagine now, imagine now, uh, being the only nation that has a covenant with God, and then God revealing to you one person, yeah. Something that no one else has. Amen. Mm. That's Come on, saints of God. Yeah. Yeah. Because Amazing. where is Peter? He's on the rooftop. What's he doing? He's praying. Be careful. See, you got your flame. And he'll benefit himself to you so much that he may become much more than your Savior. He may become more of your life. He'll begin to benefit himself to you. You have such a relationship with God. You leave everything and everyone behind that will bring bareness and perfect to you. Come on, saints of God. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I just want to, so uh, just, I'm just going to read this quick. I'm not going to get to it. Verse 14, Peter said, uh, well, uh, verse 13, and the voice came to, to Peter saying, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. And Peter said, Not so, Lord, I've never eaten anything common or unclean. And the voice spoke unto him again the second time, What God has done, do not call common. And uh, this was done thrice. And uh, the vessel was seated up again in the heaven. Now Peter doubted with, he doubted within himself this vision with he should, what it should mean. Has God ever spoken to you something you didn't understand it? Yes. I've been to that. Yes. Uh, for instance, has God ever given you a supernatural dream? Yes. And I go like, well, the dream is so wiped out, I go, that can't yeah. be God. Then they, they God revealed to you that was God. Yeah. But then I got to pray. And I got to pray for the interpretation of the dream. Yeah. And then I mentioned being Peter, and no one but the Jews have, have a covenant with God, and that God is, is revealing them to them these... Uh, uh, verse 12 that said no, all men are four footed beasts of the earth the wild uh, wild beasts and creep to think the fowls of the air which was forbid to the Jew okay so there's a prophetic picture here and verse 17 that Peter doubted within himself with this vision uh, which means a supernatural spectacle uh, means the gaze he, he wondered what this vision mean, they should be behold that the men that were sent from Cornelius had made an inquiry of Simon Town and stood to the gate and they called and asked whether Simon, Simon who surnamed Peter, was lodged there. Now, this is, this, to me, this is just so powerful. This is amazing. <laughs> that Cornelius has this vision. Peter goes into a trance. And Peter's trying to figure out, he just had this trance. And he's trying to, what does this mean? This is going on, on a, within him. And then there's a knock at the door. 
And the men that Cornelius had said to Peter are there at that very moment. Amen. Amen. Not only is God connecting the right people, it's the right time. And that God is at the very second, the very time, here he is on the rooftop, and he has the supernatural visitation, and something that will show that it's going to bring to the Jewish people that, that, uh, Give with the Jew, and he came to his own, his own received it not, but to everyone that received it, he gave the power to become the Son of God, even to that believe upon his name. So he gave them this revelation that the oh. salvation will not only be for the Jewish nation, yeah. it will be for the Gentile, it will be for every nation. Yeah. Amen. 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 And we'll, we'll see that uh, yeah. expanded. So Peter then, he's on this rooftop, and he, he's trying to figure, my God, what does this mean? Whoa. And if you really stop and think about, <coughs> you know, their, their thought life and, and uh, all the law and everything that was going on and, and how Jesus comes along, and, and you really have to chew on some of this stuff. So Peter's chewing upon it, and he's thinking, verse 19, Peter thought upon the vision, and the Spirit of God said to him, wow. Behold, mm -hmm. three men seek you. Wow. Amen. That is so powerful. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so awesome. Not yeah. some people, not one man, yeah. Yeah. three men. <laughs> three men. Yeah. Whoa. Three men seek you. Arise, therefore. <coughs> what does God say to them? Arise and go down. Arise and go down and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them to you. Now, when uh, when we get to the place that uh, can can you see that uh, daily bread? And the daily bread is more than just read your Bible. It's that daily, the, Jesus said, my bread, my meat is to do, oh, my meat is, is to do the gospel, uh, yeah, will to do the will of God. Amen. Okay, so basically what's happening then, his daily bread, his daily source of life and energy is the presence of God, the anointing of God. He's now living the Word, and the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, but the Word became flesh. Okay, so the Word now, he's living the Word, he's living the life. And so he's now so fulfilled, he's now so satisfied that all these things are happening in these different people. And so then Peter said, Peter went down to the men that were sent to him from Cornelius and said, Behold, I am him that you are seeking. For what, what is the cause wherefore that you come? And they said, Cornelius, the centurion, a just man, and one that fears God, and one of good report among all the nations, the Jews, was warned by God, by a holy angel, to send for you, into his house and to hear words of thee. And he called them in and say they called them in and they and they, they lodged with them and on the morrow Peter Peter then goes for these men that Cornelius had sent to them, because God has said go with them, doubting nothing. And certain brethren from Joppa accompanied him. And on the next day when they entered into Caesarea, Cornelius waited for them and had called together his kinsmen and near friends. Okay, so basically now we're being, we're connecting all these dots. So Cornelius is here. Peter's over there. Go to Joppa and get Peter to bring. So they go to when when they get there is when Peter's in the trance and God tells him go to those three men. He's on the rooftop. God tells him three men that that coming for you here. Knock at the door. And so he goes down. And what do you want? And so they want to go go back to where Cornelius is. So he goes to Cornelius. So Cornelius has his family. Cornelius. And his family together, some other people. So then, remember now, the angel came to Cornelius, not to preach to Cornelius. The angel came to Cornelius to get a preacher to come to him. Yes. Yes. Come on, take that round. Yes. You're going to be sent for yes. as a messenger. Yes, Lord. Amen. Well, the angel could preach, but he called us to preach. Yes. Okay? okay, so I'm going to skip there. I'm going to skip it a little bit. Now, some things happen, and and I'll just put verse twenty nine in the far I, I came to you with that. I don't want to keep on repeating, but verse twenty nine said, "Therefore I came to you without gains and without questioning, without being negative. I came to you as soon as I was sent for. I asked therefore for what intent you have sent for me." And Cornelius said, four days ago I was fasting." Yes. Four days ago I was fasting, and I was praying. I just want to bring to you that we're on this 21-day fast. I've got leads to go on this fan to join this fast. If you if you haven't started, you want to start now, just start now. But I would encourage you, number one, fast. Number two, pray. Yes. 
so I was fasting and I was praying in my house to behold a man's girl before me. Okay, so I don't go back to report you, to repeat you what's already been said. All right, verse 34. Okay, so then what happens is, Peter realizes, here's, now he's beginning to add one plus one plus one and come up with three. He realizes, okay, here he is, he's praying upon the roof, he has this visitation of God, God gives him, the, the, takes him into a trance, and gives him the very powerful message that will change church history forever. Amen. That will change church history forever. Yes. Through one man, this revelation, Amen. that God gives one man, that will bring the revelation, that salvation, do you remember that it goes all the way back to the Jew first and then to the Gentile. Wow. Okay, to that time, the, the only people really was open to the Jew. To the Jews. So God yeah. gives us revelation. Now imagine you don't go taking that message to the synagogue. Amen. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Wow>. Amen. <laughs> See, that's what, that's what we do. That's, you have to understand that uh, how powerful and how important it is it. So what God is entrusting with revelation is people that's number one committed to God, committed to prayer. It's very boring to pray to a God that you you can't stand. Amen. It's very very boring to read the Bible when you're not in the language of God because you had no intention upon obeying it. So that that's boring. No, it's it's, it's life. It's all depends on the condition of your heart. Okay. My gosh. Okay, so the, God is finding people, and then, well, I'm saying that there is a remnant. God said, I will always have the remnant that will not bother and need to bail. Yes. Guess we're talking about bail, we're talking about Asheroth. Bail, to me, bail worship is money, and Asheroth the sex devils. Yes. Okay, so bail's always first with money, and Asheroth is always sex devil. And mm. it's not that with bail there is sexual perversion, there is, you see that clearly in the Bible, and but they reverse. With uh, Asteroid, sex is the first and money second. And vice versa with Baal worship. Okay, that's, yeah. that's another the whole message. Okay, the, so what I'm saying is, God is looking for somebody, and I believe if, oh. if we go back to what God, we, and I'm not going to drag you through this again, but God has spoken to us and wants to do something here. Yeah. He wants yeah. to, some type of revival, oh, some type yeah. of awakening. Oh, so he's right. looking for a remnant that will pray. Yeah. Yeah. I say that, I mean, Amen. sometimes my. I don't have a, see, did we have more room for pray, pre-service prayer than that, Pastor Dean? Yes, we do. Have, have, we, have we had room for one or two more in Saturday prayer? Yes. Okay. So he found oh. some. He found a Cornelius that was praying. Oh. He found a Peter that was praying. Oh. Yes. And they're having visions. They're, having, they're going to the transit. They're having a supernatural visitation of God. And God is giving the Renager revelation that will change churches. History throughout of eternity. Amen. My God, my God. Be careful spending time with God. Let me give the give you such an assignment that the nations will be saved. Okay, so now Peter, Peter now is beginning to add one plus one plus one plus one. If thou come, they give four. So in verse 34, Peter then opens up his mouth. That's good. Amen. Which uh, didn't seem real difficult for him to do earlier in the, in the Gospels. <coughs> That's true. But now, <laughs> he opens up his mouth and said of a truth, I perceive that God, now listen to the word you see, I now perceive that God is no respecter of person. Amen. But in every nation, Amen. he that fears him Amen. and worketh righteousness is accepted Oh my God, come on, Amen. 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 It's not just for the Jews, it's also for the Gentiles. Amen. It's not just for the nation I'm in covenant with, it's for every nation. Whosoever will be come. It doesn't matter what nation, what country you are, it doesn't matter what your skin color, it doesn't matter your education, how much or how little money you got. Whosoever will may come. He has this revelation. Every nation that fears him and work of righteousness is accepted in him. Amen. So he goes on preaching a little bit, verse 39. Now God, God, so now he's beginning to explain now. He begins to explain about Jesus. He's, so what, what Jesus did. <coughs> so he said, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus then with the Holy Ghost and with power, and he went around doing good, healing all the repress of the devil, for God was with him. Amen. Verse 42. Now, I'm skipping a little bit for the second time because we're going somewhere else. Verse 42. And he commanded us to preach. Amen. He commanded us to preach it to the people. Oh, well, let me just inject this, okay? This is very important that uh, 
I, I believe you have to agree with I, I agree with this. This is this is my opinion. I want I want to illustrate what I'm going to say to you first. That I believe that uh, uh, several years ago, when when Russia opened up, when the Berlin Wall came down, and then the uh, Russia opened up, the USSR uh, was when everything was changed, and uh, the, the and so it, the the nation Russia opened up for the gospel of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and I believe the missionaries and evangelists and apostles realized, okay, this is the door. And the door is open, and we better go in there because this door may not be open really long, very long. So all kind of missionaries, all kind of evangelists, all kind of uh, apostles, all kind of ministry will begin to go to Russia and try to get as many people saved as they could Amen. because they didn't know the door could close, and the door now is closed. Yeah. And there's nothing opening. Yeah. Now, I believe, I believe that America has lost much ground. Yeah. And I believe that there's been a presidential election that's opened up the door. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I believe there's a short yeah. window yeah. here. Yeah. And that what yeah. I believe that God wants us to get yeah. on fire for God to yeah. be yeah. so. yeah. I believe it's yeah. about so many. Yeah. And I believe that God's going to use the venture to awaken the city yeah. church. Yeah. First of all, i got to get wake. Yeah. i got to get awakened. Yeah. i got I got to get stirred. Yeah. I got to get back to the roof off praying. Amen. I got to come on. I got to begin to contend for the yes. breakthrough. Now it's time to sleep. Yes. There's a short window of opportunity yes. in our nation. Yes. We don't know if that's going to last four years or eight years. We don't know how long, but we better take advantage. We yes. had better get on fire for God. Yes. Let me put this way: God has given us the work and the work of the assignment, and He is looking for every one of us. Will we yes. come to life of the assignment yes, that God? has given to us. Yeah. Will God find me? Will God find us? Will yes. God find will God find us playing or praying? Oh, we can't Lord. we can't say I want this God but but God never sees us contending, right. no bothering, right. no praying, no fencing, no hunger. We got the hunger. That's and, right. the, and the Spirit has said to us prophetically Wednesday night, more, more, we want more. Yes, yes. yes. We got to get desperate, okay? Yes. We got to get back to heaven the very heart of God. I got to get back to my first love. Amen. And so this is what Peter is saying here in verse 42. He commanded them to preach to the people. Now remember now, they sent for Peter, they bring Peter to them, and Peter realizes that now I know what I'm here. I'm beginning to connect the dots on the, on the when God put me in the trains and what God gave to me, now I'm realizing, I'm now realizing what God, through the revelation that God gave me, I'm now interpreting, here's what the message is, and the message is the gospel for everybody. Amen. Everybody that wants God to have God. Yes. So he, verse forty-two, he commanded it. Well, let me let me back up. He hinted. No. Thank you. He suggested. No. He commanded us to preach. Yes. He commanded us to preach to the people. No. Now, just look right here, says man. While we're in here, there's one person preaching up here. If we're all preaching in here and bring confusion, we wouldn't be able to hear. But there's a. Man, there, there's plenty of street corners yeah, out there you can preach yeah, on. Yeah, That's yeah. how I learned to preach. I'd go to a street corner. Yeah, yeah. I was a brand new girl convert, and I was on the street oh, almost every day of my life. No one could stop me from yeah, preaching. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. There's always another That's street amazing. corner available. Yeah. Come on, take the God. And so what God wants us to do, we're not going to fight and gouge one another who's going to be the one person up here and everybody else in respect. No, there are plenty of people out. We're going to come in contact with people yes. and their family, put their job everywhere yeah. we go. Amen. There's going to be an open street yeah. corner. You yes. don't need to be on the Amen. So he commanded to preach to the people. Amen. See, we have got to get that burden for that out there. There's a window of opportunity in our nation to get people saved. Yes. To take back some ground. And I'll say more about I'll say a whole lot more about that Sunday morning. To take back ground that's been given away to the enemy. We've got to take it back. Amen. There's a twofold path. Number one, to take new ground. Uh, to take ground. Number two, to keep the ground that we we took Amen. back. That was it. And sometimes that war is as harder than the first war. Okay. So Peter said, God has committed us to preach to the people to testify that it is he that was ordained of God to be the judge of the living and the dead. And to, and to give all the prophets witness. And through his name, through the name of Jesus, whoever believes in Jesus shall receive forgiveness of sin. Yes. Yes. Of God. Yes. Whoever shall believe shall receive forgiveness of sin. Yes. Yes. Verse 44. While Peter spoke these words, the Spirit of God fell. Wow. I got, come on, Peter, God. Amen. While Peter spoke these words, the Spirit of God fell. 
See, we don't want to have church without God. We want to live and say, here's what's going to happen. You're going to be in such a way, you open up your mouth, number one, God's going to fill it, number two, God's going to give the witness, the spirit of God to fall. I'm saying there's a place in God, you just get low with God and pray, and God will fall on you. While Peter spoke these words, the Holy Ghost fell upon them. Right. And all of them that heard the word, oh. and they there were circumcision, they would believe they were they were astonished. And the many that came to Peter, because uh, oh. all, that the Gentiles also they were astonished that God poured out the Spirit upon the Gentiles. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So it was a witness to them. Yes. Amen. That God had just poured out the mm. poured out is. the gift yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Amen. He poured out. His spirit you, upon people other than the Jews. Amen. He poured out his spirit upon the Gentiles. Oh, yeah. What did he pour out? He poured out the Holy, holy, spirit. holy Ghost. Amen. For, look at the next verse. How did they know? For they heard them speak with tongues. Yes. How did they know God poured out his spirit? He's now here in the Gentiles. Come on, say to God, we got to get back to the other people. You need to get to the Holy Spirit so you can speak in that. But if we're not speaking in tongues, if we're not using the gift. Amen. Someone gave you ten thousand dollars, I bet you could find a way to use it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit of God shall come upon you. Terry, until you are due to power. And have you been saved? To his faith that receive him and give him the power to become. Yes. If you've got Jesus in you, you already have the power to become. Amen. Amen. You, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit of God shall come upon you. Now, what are we doing with that power? Amen. And we become self righteous and talking down to the mainline denomination of people. He's like, You need! But God doesn't hear me bellowing in tongues. I've got the ability to speak in tongues, but he just doesn't. A man who prays in an unknown tongue edifies himself. That's why I'm so sometimes, because I'm not edifying myself, praying in the Holy Ghost. We got to get back up. Come on, Jesus. We got to contend and be really fussy to a thing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh. Yes, Lord. Let's see, Pastor Daniel. Did we have a was there room for more in pre service prayer tonight? Yes. Yeah. On the way? Oh. Yes, Lord. I think we can send a couple more people in the side of prayer tomorrow. Yes. Seriously. Thank you for your help. Oh. We're a team. Oh. How did they know that God poured out his spirit upon the Gentiles? Because they were baptized in the Holy Ghost and they were hearing them now speaking yeah. in tongues. Yeah. They had not been indoctrinated. They had not heard doctrine on tongues. Come on, they're not hearing the gospel. They received something they hadn't been taught about. How did, they, how did this happen? Somebody who's on a rooftop praying had a presentation of God. And there's three minutes that don't go with them. He leaves from where he is to go with Come on, thanks of God. We got to move with the Spirit. I'm coming to God's side of the Lord's feet. This will live by the Spirit. These are the sons of God. I came from the God. Some dead boy drive church service. Come on, right here. Come on, right here. Get up on that. In the name. I got to get a wicked. I got to stir my heart. I got to hurt my heart. I got to burn for God. I need some fire. I need a holy awakening. I'm feeling the dead time. I'm feeling the dead time. I'm feeling the dead time. Sometimes we become dangerous. We've been saying 20, 30, 40, 50 years. We become born because we are so familiar. We're familiar with the teaching, but we don't have what God's given us in the teaching. Come on, saints of God. I need a new baptism. I need some fresh oil. I need some fresh oil. Sometimes we get stale. Sometimes we get stale. Oh, thank you. So now, 
They've never been taught anything. Awesome. Oh. The only people who have been preached to the, the Jews. <laughs> and so then, God is connecting so with all these supernatural connections. Cornelius has a, 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 a vision. Peter has a trance. God's putting them together. Amen. Cornelius brings his family together. He brings some friends together. And then Peter realizes while he's there and he opens up his mouth, he began to preach Jesus. Amen. And the Spirit of God fell. Amen. And first, I'm telling you, we need God. We need the power of God. We don't need some blood. Come on. The letter kill. And the Spirit of God. But then what? We need to be moved by the Holy Ghost. It's a long time. Yes, it is. Yeah. I'm a, I can't manipulate my way out of there. Right. Okay, so they heard that scream of tongues and magnify God. Oh. <laughs> then it, and Peter said, Now, can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized which have received the Holy Spirit as well as we? Yes. Okay, so they realized, okay, the Gentiles have received the baptism of the Holy yes. Spirit. They're speaking in tongues of Peter saying, oh, let's have some water baptism here. Yes. Amen. We're going to have water baptism service oh. tomorrow. They think it's May 29. Amen. 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 And he committed, verse 40, and he committed them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. They prayed. Uh, that's so awesome. They hit to, to certain, to Terry certain day. They, they were to say, Peter, don't leave here. Come on, but when you pray, when come on, Peter, when you preach, the Spirit of God fell. People got saved. People got baptized. They're holy. Now we're getting baptized. Yeah. We want to hear more. Yes. 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 Hell, watch, hell, watch your fight and your hunger for more. Yes. Yes. We got to give up. We got to be ashamed of wanting more. Oh. Right, chapter eleven. Now there's going to be a shift. And the shift is. Chapter 11, verse 27. A few things happened here. And in these days, there came prophets from Jerusalem to Antioch. And there stood up one of them named Agabus, and signified by the Spirit, that was a prophetic word here. Now again, you're seeing, okay, so in those days came prophets from Jerusalem to Antioch. There's the church there at Antioch. Mm. And they stood up, one of them called Agabus, who signified by the Spirit of God that there should be a great famine throughout all the world, and came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. Now, and history proves that there were, there were multiple famines during this time. Okay, so there was a prophetic word through Agabus that there would be a great famine. Verse 29, Then the disciples, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief to the brethren that dwelt in Judea. Okay, so the Bible says that believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Okay, they, were, they believe this prophetic word, that this word was from God. Here's one of the ways that we know that we're becoming dull of hearing, that we, we're in a spirit of slumber. That God will speak speaking to us in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we're not even paying attention. Yes, that's Lord. Amen. Amen. That's a sign yeah. that there's spirit we're dull of spirit. hearing. Yes, Lord. Or we are spiritually deaf. Yeah. Yes. Or there's a spirit of slumber. Yes. That we're in God's house, God speaking, we don't we don't hear what the Spirit's saying. Mm. Sometimes we'd rather talk with people. That's good. We hear what the person says and not hear what God's saying. Yeah. Wow. Now the scripture for that is, Jeremiah says, Cursed is the man that trusted man. Yes. Yeah. Come to the house of God, we'd rather hear from a person mm -hmm. yeah. than hear from God. Because <laughs> if I hear from God, I'm going to deal with my stuff. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Please, Lord. Thank you, Lord. letting my stuff go gives me great rewards. I'll be so Amen. much happier, yes. so much more fulfilled, yes. Yes. so much more satisfied yes. what God yes. has for me. Amen. Yes. So there's Amen. a choice of death Praise and life. Mm -hmm. And what I don't want to be doing Cursed is a man put his trust in man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
anybody beside me ever thought they're just a little smarter than God. Yes. Yes. Oh no, we yes. we would have we would have answered that right, but we would still <laughs> been in control of our own life. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Curse is a man that you, sometimes a man we trust is ourselves. That's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or someone of the opposite yes. sex. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or our job. Mm -hmm. Or education, mm -hmm. or money. There's a whole lot of things that we can we can yes. put before God. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so oh, yeah. it's very important we, that we understand this: that then the disciples, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief to the brethren. Okay, so they this prophetic word they believe what the prophet had said, and they're responding to the word that God had said. There was a prophetic word, so they send relief to the brethren of the Judea. Verse 30, which did also they did, and they sent it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. We'll say more about that in just a little bit. So they sent it by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. Okay, chapter 12. Now, about that time, Herod, which is a type of the Antichrist spirit, yeah. yes. now, about that time, Herod, anti type of Antichrist, which, which basically he's a, uh, the Herods are descendant of Esau, and Esau traded his inheritance for soup. Yeah. Well, soup okay? Yeah. okay, now about the time Herod the king spread forth his hands to vex certain of the church. The word vex means injure, hurt, harm. Now go all the way back. To remember what was happening, the, uh, they betrayed Jesus in the, in the, at the Garden of Gethsemane. <coughs> Jesus uh, dies at the cross. He's resurrected. He tells them, Terry and Terry, you're due to the power. They have the faith to climb into the upper chamber. Now they went from walking with Jesus for three years to betraying him, to forsaking him. The love of God, Terry and Terry, he says, boys, you're going to need, yes. you're going to need a little bit more sticking power. Yes, I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give this baptism of the Holy Spirit. You're going to need the power when you to tell you what you are due to the power. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now they go to the upper chamber. What happened? They are now endued with power. Amen, yeah. Lord. Okay, so now what is Satan trying to do? He's trying to vex yes. certain of the church. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just because you get something from God doesn't mean you keep it. That's right. Because yeah. Satan is going to come. He comes to steal, to, to kill, destroy. and destroy. Yes. Yeah. Now, let me put this in here also. About that time, here it came, the vexed certain of the church. Well, what happened in Acts chapter 2, and everything that's happened, the momentum. See, you start getting a little bit of momentum in your life. Watch a storm, some type of yeah. temptation, some kind of storm, some kind of thing come to try to blind you, to take your vision, what God has for yeah, you, yeah. you know, Bring a spiritual death, you no longer hear the voice of God. You're now not speaking life, you're speaking death. Yeah. It's been encouraging people now, cursing people out, anger. So then, what happens then to try to return to be lame in the spirit rather than walking the power and the demonstration of the spirit? Now there's a spiritual lameness that's yeah. been put upon us. Okay, so about that time, what time? There was a prophetic word yeah. prophesying what was going to happen. There's going to be a famine. So, they send relief. Yes, amen. They send relief. <coughs> so the enemy of our soul, the Herod, a type of Antichrist, yes. understand relief is being sent. Yep. Something yep. happened in the upper yep. chamber. There's a momentum. Yep. This man that been lame at the gate called beautiful for all these years. Now he's walking and yep. walking and leaping and, and yep. praising yep. God. Yep. I've got to stop this. But about that time, yep. Herod. Begin yes. to vex yes. certain yes. of the church. Yes. Let me just put this in here, okay? Oh. Now, Sunday yes. is the Super Bowl. Yes. Okay, so what they're going to they're going to try to yes. vex, yes. stop certain ones. Of, they're going to try to come against the quarterbacks, yep. the running backs, because they don't want the other team to score. So the the people that they're going to focus on are the people that that are the the quarterbacks who can throw the pass and or, or the running back, they can run the ball because they don't want the other team to score. Now, who would Satan try to vex in the church? But then they got an anointing. Amen. Right. The more that the closer yes. that you become to God, when you start coming alive with God, hell then comes in with a strategy to vex yes. certain oh, yes. 
We're going to see that in a little bit, okay? He began to vex certain of the church. Yeah. Yes. And the word vex, I mean, to injure, to hurt you, to harm you, okay? So what happens, verse 2, he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. So he killed James, the brother of John, verse 3. And because he saw it pleased the Jews. That's terrible. Killed James, the brother of John, saw that it pleased the Jews. We talk about the scribe and the Pharisee. Okay, so he, he saw that it, it pleased the Jews. He proceeded further to take Peter. To take who? Peter. Peter. Okay, now isn't Peter a key person? What? Yes. Who is upon the rooftop? Yeah. Who did God give a revelation to? Yeah. And now who who is so then Herod then he kills James yeah. and he got played, he got Peter arrested and got him in prison, so now he got this guy, I'm gonna kill Peter too. Yes. Come on, take of God. Yes. Because who is God moving upon? He's moving upon Peter. Yeah. Yeah. So Satan comes to vex certain of the church. Yes. Come on, help to yes. discern your potential Amen. in the things of God, even more than what we can. Yes. Yes. And the potentiality yes. of the anointing yes. is Jesus. Yes. Yes. The question Amen. is not can God use it. The question, am I willing to pay the price to get yes. in position Amen. and stay in position yes. and go through what I got to go through? Yes. 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 Am I willing to pay the cost yes. to die to sell? Yes. Yes. Or will I to preserve myself. Oh, Jesus. Oh. So Peter's arrested. They killed James and put Peter in prison. And, uh, anybody beside me ever been in a prison of fear? Yes. Yes. And uh, oh, so back yeah. in my heathen days, uh, yeah. anybody beside me ever, ever been in a prison of alcohol? Yes. Anybody beside me ever? Been? <laughs> yeah. Anybody beside me ever been in prison of drugs? Yes. yes. Anybody beside me ever been in prison of immorality? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what it says that uh, Peter's arrested and put in prison, but prayer was made, Amen. but prayer was made without ceasing. Amen. 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 In my heathen days, in my heathen days, I'm raised this little town of 800 people, oh. and uh, there was a plumber. Uh, a plumber, and the plumber's wife, the plumber's wife got saved. She got baptized. The Holy Spirit got called her in the intercession. So she gives an hour to God every day. She goes to the basement and she prays. And the, <coughs> uh, back in those days, the FBI, the FBI had the ten most wanted hit list. Okay, so they had the, the most wanted ten criminals in, the, in America. And she made up this hit list, the ten biggest sinners, she was going to pray them into the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. So Peter was in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing. Amen. 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 So I'm in a prison of alcohol, drugs, and immorality partying. I'm a full-fledged hippie, but prayer is being made by this plumber's yeah. wife Amen. in the basement. So awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So great. Thank you. All these strange things begin happening in my life. Amen. Because of her prayer life. Amen. Amen. So real. once have a vision for prayer and kind of dissipated. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had, you ever just been, oh God, my God, I got to get the pre-service prayer. Yeah. And then, you ever heard a voice, oh my God, God, you've just spoken to me. I need to be at Saturday prayer every Saturday. Mm -hmm. Come for a while and then, oh yeah, and another one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my God, there is a movie. Oh, my God, I got to see this movie. My flesh wants to see this. No longer being moved by the Holy Ghost. Now not fasting, not on the rooftop praying, but more like David that has lost the fight, and when the kings went up the mountain, stayed home, and saw that. Sheba. At the movie. <laughs> and all the we see is the folk at the mall. <laughs> Don't throw tomatoes at me now. <laughs> Remember when you once had to fight in? You once had the vision? Oh. Remember you look at people and you'd be moved by compassion? Yes. Yes. James is now being killed. Peter's in prison. Wow. It pleased the Jews. Oh. 
Yeah. Verse 4, when they had apprehended Peter, they put him in prison, delivered him to four quadrants of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter was therefore kept in, Peter was kept in prison, but but prayer, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church of the God for him. When the church, when the body of Christ stopped praying for lost people and people in captivity, prisons of alcohol, prisons of drugs, prisons of immorality, prisons of materialism, when the church stopped praying, that much prayer was made without ceasing. Thank Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Um, it's not the hearers that are justified, it's the doers. Amen. God is trying to awaken me. And maybe one or two of you to get yes, back Lord. to your first love. Yes, yes. Lord. To get back to your prayer life. Get yes, back to your Bible Lord. reading. Yes. Mm -hmm. To get back to your church attendance. Yes. To get back to your love for God, your love for other people, rather than the love for self. Amen. Love for the flesh. Yeah. Prayer is now made without ceasing of the church of God for him. Verse 6, and when Herod would have brought him forth, Herod was going to bring him forth and kill him. When Herod would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping, Amen. Sleeping. I don't know if I could have slept on him or died. No. No. Sleeping. Got some kind of rest. God, you got some kind of faith. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Here's going to bring you forth to kill him. And he's sleeping. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. Praise God. When Herod would have brought him from the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains. Remember Wednesday night message? Spirit of bondage. Yeah, yeah. We had the little angel wrapped up in all those, yeah. all those chains. We played that song, uh, It Breaks Every Chain. Yeah. Amen. Here is Peter. It's, it's like I used to. I've done a lot of jail ministry, and man, clink, clink. There's all these doors you go through, yeah. and, and there's not only the jail cells, there's inner cells, there's yeah. cells within cells. Yes. There's doors that you got to go through. Mm. Not only do they have to have him in the inner cell, they got his. Uh, he's between two, so he's bound with two chains, and the keepers of the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel, the messenger of the Lord, came upon him. And a light shined in prison and smote Peter, so it means to knock him in the side. So the, the angel shows up, and here's Peter asleep. And the angel come and punches him in the side. So wake up, Peter. And he raised him up and said, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hand. Amen. 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 Jesus. You ever, uh, you ever had some freedom? The next thing you know, you're bound up. <laughs> and, he, and a touch of God, the angel of God comes, yeah. sends it all kind of angelic visitation, and the and the chains fell off of him, and the angel said, gird yourself up by none, and he didn't say, cast your garment upon them, follow me. So basically then, let's just go down to verse 11, and when Peter, Peter has come to himself, so Peter is, is now released from prison, and, and verse 11, and Peter has come to himself, he said, now I know, now I know for sure that the Lord has sent his angel, and it delivered me out of the hand of Herod. How did, wow. how and why did Peter get delivered out of the hand of Herod? Because it was made without ceasing. Amen. Have you ever once had the spirit of prayer and then? Yeah. But prayer was made without ceasing. And here this great apostle of God who's locked up in Herod prison and sends to death. God brings him out. So and verse uh, verse twelve, when he considered that that he came to the house, well, verse eleven, when Peter came to himself, now I know for sure that God has God has sent His angel Amen. and had delivered me out of the hand of Herod yes. and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. That's and verse twelve, awesome. and when they had considered the thing, 
he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname is Mark. And many were in there playing bingo. Oh, <laughs> wow. What were they doing? Praying. Who were they praying for? Peter. It comes to the church that's praying without ceasing. Amen. Who were they praying for? Peter. And there's a knock at the door. Amen. Who do you think it is? Peter. Oh, that's awesome. 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 The saints of God come and pray on Saturday. And we've had people walk in while they're praying and they see their name upon the board. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. There's, a, there's a knock at the door. They come stumbling in and they look up and there they are. And here's them up praying. Say that singer sometime. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in. Yes. Oh. Yes. Thank you. Peter comes to the house. He, he goes to the house they, where he knows they're praying. Yes. It's awesome. Verse 13 is Peter knocked at the door of the gate. Oh. A damsel came to hearken named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter, she hears Peter at the at the door. And she she's so happy that Peter is, is at the door. She runs back, but she doesn't open the door. Yeah. She's so shocked. Amen. 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 You know how real these people are? Amen. Just like us? Yes. Because we pray for a long time about something and it hasn't happened. Amen. And sometimes we pray and it happens so fast it shocks us. Amen. 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 The enemy wants to come and say, the enemy, if you ever get the spirit of prayer, doesn't mean you get to keep it. You've got to nourish it. You've got to feed it. You've got to reach it. Help Jesus. See, if you're, a, if you're a ball player and you're playing baseball or basketball or football, you're using different muscles. You're using different. And so every time you switch from one season to another, you've got to redevelop your skills. Come on, play basketball. You've got to have the touch. Amen. Come on, saints of God. I didn't have the kind of skill that I just pick up a basketball and play basketball for five months and the ball would go in every day. I had to practice. Yes. Come on, saints of God. Amen. And when I played baseball, I had to watch the ball come up. I had to give a swing back. I had to, I had to, here's what we don't want to do. We don't want to be a basketball player. Can you imagine being a basketball player for 30, 40 years? I still don't know how to dribble. Amen. <laughs> I can't throw the ball to someone and I can't catch it. Amen. Are you kidding me? 30, 40 years? And we say we're a Christian for 30, 40 years, still don't know how to pray. That's right. If we can't get to the first place, I'll be. Amen. Verse 13, Peter knocked at the door, a damsel, came to hearken, named Rhoda. When she knew Peter's voice, she didn't open the door for gladness, but ran and told him, Peter, Peter's standing at the gate! And this is what they said to her. You're crazy! It's like crazy. They're fasting and praying for Peter! Peter's at the door, God answered the prayers of man. Rhoda come and said, Peter's knocking at the door! You're crazy! Yeah. You must be out of your mind. Yeah. Because the truth is, we have prayed. Let's just be real honest. Yeah. We prayed for something for a long time. It had not happened. Yeah. 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 And something will happen so fast it will shock you. Amen. Yeah. 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 That's what this is right here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The question is that will God hear and answer prayer? The question is what we got to understand. Sometimes I will be tested. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes you're going to pray a prayer, it will not be answered in the next five minutes, and it will be a test. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Will I throw in the towel? Amen. No. That's right. Will I become angry at God? Yes. No. Yes, yes, Lord. You'll hear a voice. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's true. That's true. Why don't you heard that voice? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Rhoda goes and said, Peter's knocking at the door. Verse 15, they said, Her, you're crazy. Well, she con she constantly affirmed, uh, he's at the door. I, I think she got the new door and let him in. But she's so, she so shocked, she didn't know how to behave. And they said, oh, it's, it's not Peter, it must be his angel. Oh, open the door, baby. Somebody open the door. Let the man in. Amen, Lord. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But Peter continued knocking. Sometimes, come on, say, we got to work through other people's unbelief. 
Peter continued knocking and when they had opened up the door they saw him and they were astonished. Yeah. You get to the place where you, the Holy Spirit reveals Jesus to you and sets a fire for life. You see who you really are. That's who you really are. You'll be humbled. You'll be astonished. Oh, yes. 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 The Holy Ghost will tell on you. Yes. Amen. When they saw the door and they saw him, they were astonished. Oh. Verse 17, but he beckoning with them the hand to hold their uh, with a hand to hold their peace, declared to them how God had brought him out of the prison. That's who. What I'm saying is. This prison is a, a type of the world. Yes. It's a picture of people that are in prison to fear. Prisons are sickness, disease. They've been hurt. They've been wounded. They've been rejected. They've been let down. They've been disappointed. If, uh, well, let me load the gun here. Does the Bible say in Colossians and in Ephesians, that Jesus is the head of the church and we are the body. Yeah, Lord. So Jesus, the head, will live his life through the body of the church, which yes. is the church, which is his body. If mm -hmm. Jesus, the head, sent a signal to the body, pray. Yes. If the message sent is not being received by the body, then the body is paralyzed. Yes. yes. If the spinal cord has been severed, the message can be sent but not received from the body. So the head can send a signal, move body. Yes. But if it doesn't move, it means it's paralyzed. So then basically, if the church, which is his body, is not praying, mm. Amen. who will pray? Amen. So then there was a whole purpose here of Peter's revelation that the gospel is for everybody. Yes, Lord. So I want to say this again. The window has been opened in our nation. Yes. yes. In a short, brief period of time. And I believe we need to gird our anointing up. Yes. We need to begin witnessing again. Yes. Yes. And if, I'll just say this. Yes. If they don't want to hear what you got to say, then ask them if they got any sickness, disease. Amen. Mm. Get it out of them, get them healed. Yep. If they're demonized, cast the devil out. Mm. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. Break the power of God, brother, right where the problem is. Yes, Amen. Amen. She's that rather than sore fighting with people. Amen. Mm. Amen. Debating with people, arguing with yes. people. That's right. Yeah, that's true. That's Ooh. something in your life. Yeah. Let's get this out. Amen. I'll show you how much power my God has. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Amen. Let's see, it's a prophetic picture when Peter, when Peter, when Peter preached, the Spirit fell. People were saved, were baptized the Holy Spirit, and all that comes in all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so he preached, and the Spirit of God fell, fell upon everybody, including non-Jews, fell upon the Gentiles. And God, what God is saying, He's opened this up for whosoever will may come. Amen. <clears throat> okay, so but the Lord brought him out of prison, and He said in verse 17, Go show these things unto James and to the brethren, and the party went to another place. As soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers. What had become of Peter? No small stir. There was a turmoil. Okay, in verse 19, when Herod, a type of Antichrist, had sought for him, sought for Peter, and found him not. He examined his keepers, commanded that they should all be put to death, and they all went down to Judea to Caesarea, and there they both. Okay, so uh, here is belief. Okay, God by the angel of God brought Peter out of that bondage, out of that captivity, out of out of not only the prison, but he was chained. Yes. So, who is it that you love that you care for? What kind of bondage Amen. are they in? Amen. Yes, Lord. And is is it as bad as? Peter's imagine 
imagine being in uh, one of the leaders of uh, ISIS over there somewhere right. in, in the middle, and they're locked mm -hmm. up in their prison. Uh -huh. And not only that, they got all these guards around them mm -hmm. and locked up with chains. And so, can God send an angel to them? Yes. Can God bring them out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. One last little set here that we're going <clears throat> we're going to close in chapter thirteen. One last prophetic picture. Can you see how this is related to our church, our local yes. church? Okay. And I, I think you're going to see a little bit more now. Chapter 13, verse 1. Now there were in the church, there was at Antioch, certain wimps and sissies, no. No. Prophets and teachers as Barnabas, Simeon, it was called Night Church, and Lucius, or whoever, whoever, had brought up a hair of the Tetrarch and Saul. Now, verse 2 as they, number one, ministered to the Lord. To the Lord. Amen. As they ministered to the Lord, then they fasted. And you're going to see a little bit down in verse 3 they're praying. They're fasting, they're praying, they're ministering to the Lord. The Holy Ghost said, Separate unto me Barnabas and Saul for the yes, work wherein I have called them. What are they doing? They're fasting, they're praying, yes. they're ministering to the Lord. Now let's back up. Okay, let's, let's once again connect the dots so that we can see. Because uh, to me this is very encouraging. When you see the connection between Saul and Ananias in Acts chapter 9, and then between Peter and Cornelius in Acts chapter 10, now you're going to see something, Barnabas and Saul, which would be called Paul. Okay, there's this connection. When you see, oh, when you saw Cornelius, he's praying. Okay? And then he has this vision. God says to Peter, and Peter's on the rooftop, and he's praying. Mm -hmm. It seems like everybody that God's really using here has a prayer life. Yes, yes. Well, uh, it comes down to this so that what we don't want to pursue is titles, positions, and yeah. recognition, and titles that would impress men That's right. while having little or no relationship with God. Yeah. The people that God are using are people that have a relationship yeah. with God. Yes. They're spending time with God in prayer because they love God yes. and they yeah. enjoy they enjoy his fellowship. Amen. 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 That's and right. Yes. Say this in another way. When I when I met Pastor Jan, I began to fall in love with Pastor Jan. There was not enough time in the day Amen. Yeah. to yeah. stay with Pastor Jan because I love yeah. Pastor Jan. Yeah. So I asked Pastor Jan to marry me. Yeah. If you love God and you have a relationship with God, you don't want to just flirt with Him for an hour and a half on Sunday morning and you want to become part of the bride of Christ and you want to marry Jesus. You want Yes. Oh. Yes. That's right. Oh. So you saw Cornelius, and then he's praying, he's seeking God, and then Peter's up there, he's on the rooftop, and he's praying, and God's connecting all these people. He's connecting people to pray. Amen. And when Peter gets thrown in prison, wow. their church was making prayer without ceasing. Amen. And they prayed him out of prison. Uh, Praise God. God. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Now in chapter 13, verse 2, they ministered to the Lord, they fasted, and the Holy Ghost said, How do you think he said this? <laughs> Separate them to me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work that I have called them. And when they fasted and prayed, Amen. When they fasted and prayed. Yes. Now here we are on this 21 day fast. Yes, Lord. Today's day number three. I, I really want to encourage you to set a certain time and place every day to get along with God. Yes. Yes. And you get along with God yes. and develop a personal Amen. prayer. But back there in the far back corner, we got a, a long prayer list back there to, as an example. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of uh, blank paper there to, to write, to add that you begin to develop a prayer life. You begin to, begin to spend time with God and what, whatever weakness is in your life, you, you can change. It says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 34, out of weakness there remain strong. Any weakness in your life, 
Don't pretend that's not there. Deal Amen. with it. Change yes. your weakness into yes. a strength. Your Amen. Mother, Amen. God already knows about the weakness. Yes. We don't need the lie. Yes. He already knows about the yes. weakness. Yes. Amen. So when we admit it, we get, your weakness can be changed into a strength. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Okay, so they when they fasted, they prayed, they laid their hands upon them, and they sent them away. Verse 4. So they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost departed to wherever, and then, then they sent to Cyprus. That was that island home of Barnabas, and the state of Barnabas had been sold to meet the needs of the saints of God in the Jerusalem church. He had sold that. Okay, so they were sent from there, and they sent to Cyprus. Verse 5, and when they were at Salamis, and they preached the word of God in the synagogue to the Jew, and they had also John to their minister, and when they had gone through the Isle of Pablos, they found a certain sorcerer. The word sorcerer means a wizard, a magician, an astrologer. A false prophet, a Jew whose name was bar Zeus. Okay, so basically this guy's into witchcraft. Yeah. Okay, so they're being sent by God to a certain place. The Holy Ghost said. Because yes. yeah. they sent them forth with fasting and prayer. They laid their hands upon them. There's an impartation. They sent them forth. And now they go to the side. And there's demonic satanic warfare. Yeah. Okay, so this is, this is very important. If uh, if I can't defeat a demon that size of a gnat or fly in my life, how am I going to defeat wizards, Amen. warlocks, and witches? Yes, that's wow. right. Okay, so we begin, how we're going to kill giants and how we're going to kill lions and bears is that we're going to deal, first of all, we'll start with a, a demon the size of a gnat and graduate to a fly, a bumblebee, demon the size of a sparrow, and you'll keep growing. Amen. Yes. God cannot, he's not going to allow you to be tempted and tested by that which you're able. Amen. But you're going to grow. Amen. So as we develop our muscles, yes, come on, Lord. thanks God. Amen. We're going to develop our faith. Amen. That's how God Amen. help us to go further. So Amen. the question is, after all these years we're going to be in the church, uh, let, me, uh, let, me, let me put this way. Uh, can God trust me with trouble? Right. Or mm. uh, will demon the size of a net still take me down? They are sent forth by the Holy Ghost. They're fasting to pray. They got no, They have hands upon them. They're sent forth. And here there's a wizard. Mm-hmm. Who's standing between you and the will of God? Amen. Amen. Wow. There's the a one. wizard. Yeah. Someone involved in witchcraft. Yeah. A false prophet. Yeah. Verse 7, with, with the deputy of the county circus of whoever, a prudent man who was called, uh, who called for Barnabas to Saul and the desire to hear the word of God. Now, Okay, so Barnabas and Saul go to the blade, and there's there's this there's this uh, let's just call him a warlock. This witchcraft person is there, and so but there's someone that wants to hear. These are profane pictures of groups of people, and that there be people called the minister. There be demonic satanic opposition, and there gonna be people that want to hear. Yeah. And we're gonna see how this all works together. So you and I got to understand is that you are an overcomer. There's going to be something in your life, either you, either it will overcome you, or you will overcome Amen. it. Amen. Either it will take you down, or you will walk on top of it. Amen. You'll win or you'll lose. And what you need to say, you have been given power and authority over all of our enemies. Amen. We're going to take it down, because we want to go down. Yes. That's right. That's true. That's true. Amen. 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 So Satan's trying to find the yeah. weakness within us. Yeah. And we have a secret <laughs> desire. Wow. A door, a window still open. And, and a, a, a great big mansion. All you got to do is leave one door unlocked. Yes, uh, yeah. One door open, then the thief will come in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even being a type of Satan. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so here, here the, there's people when the will of God been sent to this area, sent to this area to preach. Oh. And when they get there, there's demonic satanic opposition. Yes, there is. Witchcraft operating. Yes. Yeah. But there's someone that sent for Barnabas and Saul. They want to hear the word of God. Yes. yes. But there's opposition. Yes. Yes, there is. Something, someone to distract and disrupt them. Verse 8. Yes. But now remember, my title tonight is Prayer Activates God. You've Amen. seen that over and over again in the message that I had. Prayer activated God. Yes, it does. Amen. Now, I want I wanted to bring this in because I uh just a little shift here. And some things are going to happen here that some people do not believe God would ever do. Mm. Mm. Well, what I'm saying is 
there's an apostolic anointing wow. that's not going to play games. Amen. Yeah. Here's what I'm saying. When Satanism is operating against God's anointed, God doesn't always tiptoe through That's the right. truth. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> so things going to happen. Now I'm talking about apostolic prophetic anointing. Amen. That's why some people. That's why the. That's why I, what I call the professional religious system over day. They say God doesn't. The, the Bible says just yeah, but they say there's no more apostles, there's no more prophets. And they say, well, there is evangelist pastor the team. They don't want some prophet showing up in their church. No, yeah, they don't want some prophet showing up in their life or in their family. That's right. They, there's an apostolic anointing that that I'm telling you, probably apostle didn't play games. Amen. He was so serious. Yes, yes. Mm. praise God. God. Yeah. I'm saying that there's a place to rent the church. The rent church is called by God to take back that which has been given away. The rent the church is called the church is called to awaken the sleep of day. But first of all, I got to be. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen, Lord. Hey, okay, we're going somewhere. Amen. Okay, I'll pay this picture. They're sent by God. Barnabas and Saul was sent by God to a certain area. They go to this area. And the demonic, satanic witchcraft isn't there in our yes. city. Yes. Haven't you felt it coming yes. against you? Oh, yes. Coming against the church? Yes. Has it been coming against? And I'm telling you, the main thing, they try to work against marriage. Yes. They try to put sickness upon your body. Yes. It's the devil. Yes. Yes. That's right. And I'm yes. saying that, yes. saints of God, we have been given power and authority yes. over all the power of the devil. Yes. 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 Fake mantle. You need to understand not everybody going to, a whole lot of folk are not going to understand you. Amen. They will misinterpret your passion. That's right. Because mm -hmm. they don't have the passion. They don't see what you see. That's right. They don't hear what you hear. <coughs> they don't see what you feel. They That's don't right. have what you have. That's right. Because Jesus said this either you're for me or you are against me. me. In the beginning, I was so passive, <coughs> so much fear, so much tim timidity, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so shy, mm -hmm. afraid of my own shadow. Mm -hmm. And so when things would arise in ministry, I would lie to myself. Right. I didn't see that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That didn't really happen. Mm -hmm. And if it did happen, I'm going to love them. <laughs> no, I didn't have the love to confront. I didn't have the love to confront the fire on the sides of a match deck. Yes, so then it became a forced fire. Yes, that's right. So it was a whole lot harder yes, to put out. That's right. So I lied to myself. I, I, I didn't really see that. I'm going to love them, but I didn't love them enough to tell them the truth. Right. Yeah. Because I wasn't man enough yet to take the. Yes. Backlash. Yeah. Yes. Jesus said, "No, they said you shall be hated." Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I, I've learned. I know this. You may think, man, he's still back out, but <laughs> I've learned to love being hated. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank God. Mm -hmm. You may not understand my sports background. It's yeah. one thing. It was one thing to play ball. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to play the other team. It was another thing. To play against your rivalry. Right. <laughs> you understand the history of the Kansas City Chiefs and the Oakland Raiders, the fights they used to have. Uh, in, in the bottom of the pile, they would gouge one another and they hit people in certain places and poke them in their eyes. And <laughs> wow. oh my goodness. They would smear one another. Yeah, wow. it's you true. Wow. The football wow. language. Wow. Here's what I'm saying. A friend may comfort me 
Yeah. But the enemy will really motivate me to focus. Yes, yeah. yes. yes. That's right. Now, I'm not going to daydream because I'm going to really be focused now because I'm not going to let you win. That's right. Amen. 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 Because there's yes. a prophetic mantle, there's a remnant church. It's not going to play. That's no. right. Amen. And after you no. pay a price to gain so much That's ground, right. they're not going to give up yes, the value. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 That's right. They understand I've been sent here by God. God sent me here. Amen. And it doesn't surprise me that there's witchcraft and demonic satanic opposition. Amen. And then there's people that want to come there. And they say for a burden of themselves, they say, we want to hear the word of God. You see different people groups. Some people want to hear what you've got to say. And people want to kill you for what you're saying. That's right. That's true. That's real. Yeah. And it all comes up. Am I willing to become a void cry? Verse 7, they said, Provarno, something desired to hear the word of God. Amen. To hear the word of God, verse 8, but Elimus, the sorcerer, for so his name is determined, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Yeah. The word resisted, with the word with, withstood them, their means, opposed them, and resisted them. Yes. Why was he standing against them? Why was he resisted? He did want people to hear the word of God. Yes. Yes. Right. Satan doesn't want you to preach the word of God. Yes. yes. Oh, you hear a voice. Well, we don't want to offend anyone. That's crazy. We don't want to offend anyone. See, this is what Mary Kay Baxter says. There's people in hell. Yes. So why didn't you tell me? Yes, Lord. You said you were a Christian. Yes, Why didn't you warn me of this place? Why didn't you tell me? Yes. I'm saying yeah. oh. I'm saying there's a place in God that you are so consumed you feel what Jesus feels yeah. for the lost yeah. Yeah. and when you see people that desire to hear the word of God yeah. and there's yeah. demonic satanic yeah. activity yeah. working against them hearing what you have to say that God has sent you to those people yes. to say. Yes. There's enough of people that want to hear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes. There's people that want to hear. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Mother of you shall. No. 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 That's why some people don't want to come to church. That's right. Yeah. Too long. Mm. <laughs> too hot. Too hot in there. <laughs> <laughs> So when something or someone stands against us, in, in your heathen days, no, no, no. In your heathen days, you've never been interested about someone in the opposite sex, but they were involved with someone else. Oh. <laughs> Fight in the flesh to get what they want. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Are we willing to fight in the spirit? Right? Amen. 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 It's one of those things some people don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this church, if it's in the Bible, then Amen. God said it. We Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. We, we, we believe in great patience, great love, great mercy. Yes. But well, we also believe more than tiptoeing through the Amen. tulips. Praise we believe God. That there's more than milk. We believe that there's some meat. Small yes. meat Amen. 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 Yes. The sorcerer withstood them, seeking to turn people away from hearing. Then Saul, who is now called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Set his eyes upon him and said, Oh, you full of trickery, deceit, wiles, you decoy, full of subdue, and you full of all mischief. 
Amen. Which means crime, uh, easy going behavior. This is what he said. You child of the devil. Amen. Yeah. Oh. That's the Holy Ghost. 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 <laughs> yeah. Right. We're talking about witchcraft. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yep. I am saying that there's a church mm -hmm. that will do warfare yes. and not going to rub toes with the devil. Amen. No. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah. What would you think of one of us in leadership? Someone come in. We knew they rubbed the devil. We said, "You fool! You fool! You fool the devil." Praise God. One, one praise. Full of subtlety and mischief, you child of the devil, you enemy of righteousness. Will you not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now, behold, the hand of God is upon thee, and you shall be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. Wow. Wow. Now, is that, that just give you Bible? Yes. Yeah. I will tell you, there's an apostolic anointing. Yeah. Now, uh, <clears throat> for a little son right there, uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna buy him a brand new Corvette and give him the keys. Oh no! <laughs> because he's not ready. Yeah. Trouble. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Buy him a brand new Corvette. <laughs> Bad thing is going to happen real soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of inability, of maturity to handle. Yeah. yeah. This is a place that there's someone God is looking for people that He can trust yes. with the right. truth of God. Amen. That is so pure Amen. in their heart, He can Amen. stand against the powers of darkness. Yes. Yes. yes, And let's just put this in here. And when you look real close in Acts chapter nine, I think it's around verse eight. When Jesus dealt with Paul, Saul, to make him yeah. into Paul, he knocked him to the ground. Yeah. And when Saul, no, Paul, came to his feet, he could not see. Amen. Yeah. And this highly educated, wealthy man of great influence had to put his hand in the hand of someone else mm -hmm. and be yeah. That's right. Yes, yeah. Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He had the yeah. one to trust someone yes. to see for him. Amen. Amen. You get saved, you can't see. Amen. Mm. You have to put your hand in people that can see. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. take you where God wants you to Amen. be. Amen. So yeah. when, here's what, here's yes. what Saul, who became Paul, mm. here's what he realized. Oh, it was good for me that I could not see Amen. for yeah. a season. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I said you can you will be blind, you will not see for a season. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see people that are not right with God that cannot see. Yes. That's why we did the illustration with the little angel. Wednesday night we put all the chains upon her mm -hmm. because there, there's people that I, I don't need deliverance. No. I, 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 don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. okay. What I'm saying is in my opinion. We need to really bind up. Yes. Speak to different kinds of strongholds. Amen. Amen. Uh, I, yeah. I can't belabor this because I'm running out of time. But if if you know Big Joiner, like I know Big Joiner, if Big Joiner were to get in the air and anything, he would be in the air of being so merciful. Amen. So merciful. So loving. Mm -hmm. For him to put in, in one of his books, I think it's the path, mm, yeah. that he has his visitation of the Lord, and mm -hmm. God tells him, what I'm going to tell you now may be the hardest thing I've ever told you to do, yeah. and that you now have to call down judgment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Justice in God. Mm -hmm. And we need to call down judgment of certain movements. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The liberal God's media, justice. abortion, the movement, Amen. Yeah. the homosexual yeah. movement. Yeah. Yeah. We need to call down opposition. Yeah. 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 There's something yes. we need to stand against. Yeah. We need to bind. Yes. Come on, Satan. Yes. Yes. We need to bind. We need yes. to forbid. We need to ask God to stop this yes. thing, that yeah. this movement, all this pro yes. protesting, this rebellion against authority, yes. this lawlessness. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Come on, Satan. Yes. There, there yes. needs to be yeah. some... There needs to be some powerful praying, yes. some binding, yes, some forbidding, 
We need to call down something. Yes. Come on. Yes. 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 Amen. It's is, is right there. Sometimes Amen. we have to say yes. something. Then the, yes. You may think, well, that doesn't sound very loving. Well, yes. it doesn't sound loving to me that the witchcraft spirit would operate yes. keeping people from hearing the gospel yes. that they want to hear. There's another aspect of love. It's, it's not love. Yes, God. But let's let just. My, here's my comrade in the back row back there, Justin. <laughs> let's just say that someone's driving through his neighborhood looking for a house to break through, break in. And, and he, he breaks in that house and, and he sees one of the females in there. So then this person that breaks in the house thinks, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to harm this female. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Daddy walks around the corner. And he goes, oh, this, look like this. this is not going to go real well for me. He's <laughs> not love for him. Say, well, I'm, I'm going to let you violate people. I'm, 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 I'll let you violate the, the kids. I'll, I'll let you stew everything. With. That's not love. Yeah. They're going to be willing to die. Yeah. Yeah. Call them to love. Yeah. The people can go, oh, this, this is a bad place. This yeah. one I can back. Let me out of here. say he'll give the Holy Spirit the teacher and guide you in all truth. Yes. Okay, so you may on a ten a ten ten point scale from a zero to ten, ten being the most, if you're at a zero or a one in prayer, you can grow up to a ten. Amen. Amen. Lord. That's what's available to each and every one of us. We have got to be willing to spend the time. Ian bound, right down to Ian Bounce, baby. Okay. I've got to get uh, uh Mr. Aaron bought that got that book, the last one uh, on there's a great big book by, on prayer by Ian Bowes. I need, yeah, I need to get that back. It's a real yeah, big what this, We're going to go to a workshop here just a little bit. Okay, well, we're coming for landing. And if you don't have the spirit of prayer, ask God to give you the spirit of prayer. Amen. No matter where you are in prayer, there's this was so strong Wednesday night, the spirit of God said, ask for more. Yes, ask amen. for more. Yeah. And way back there in the back, uh, Pastor Water found we've got uh, four different prayer lists back there. And there's a real long prayer list, which is an example for you mm-hmm. just to give you ideas of things to pray for. Okay, that you pray for the spirit of prayer. Mm-hmm. Ask God to teach you how to pray. Ask God yes. to soften your heart. Amen. That you would be moved by love. You'd be moved Amen. by compassion. Amen. That your eyes would be open. That you'd be given an ear to hear what the spirit has to say. Amen. Okay, so what God is doing with us, He's preparing us. Amen. Mm-hmm. Any time, if there's any type of breakthrough, enlargement, increase, 
And I really believe that God wants to give us a revival of soul winning. Yes. I'm, I'm asking God to give me an anointing that will populate heaven, populate His kingdom upon earth, and populate this church. Mm-hmm. And everywhere that we go, we're going to begin. We're going to get back to witnessing. We're going to speak truth. Let the chip fall. Chips fall Amen. with the bait. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And remember now, this right here. This there's a different. I, I, I don't have time to enlarge upon this, but we're talking about apostolic prophetic anointing yes. that will challenge the powers of darkness that Amen. Be. Yes. tear it down that's what yes. Jeremiah Jeremiah's calling was root out throw down pull down and destroy Amen. 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 now yes. I'm, I'm telling you that is not a very popular ministry no no, no. no. what did you do at your church while we were there yeah. we were there for 45 minutes we we were told that God loves us and received an offering and we sang two songs, only the first and third verse because we're singing too long. Sister talking in tongues might give a message and we don't want that happen in our church. So we were in that 45 minutes. We were told that God loves us and we went home. What did you do at your church? We got rooted out, thrown down, pulled out. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Karma. And then God began to build. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. And plan. Yes. The question is not can he root out, throw down, pull down, destroy. The question is, am I willing to give up? Amen. Being full of myself. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. To be, Amen. it was real important that in Acts chapter 13, yes. Paul being yes. full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's yes. the key. When you can, when you can stand toe to toe to sorcerers. Amen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. That's Praise God. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say something still on thunder. I want, I, I want to give me five more minutes. It will be worth your while. Yeah. Give me five more minutes. Oh, yes. 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 Stand. <clears throat> Some of you kept questioning me, and I was trying to avoid, because people were questioning me. What, 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 tell me what John said. Tell me what John because I talked to John. Tell me what, tell me what. John say, or you talk with John, with the John say. <laughs> I didn't want to say all the John say yeah. because there's some thunder. Oh. Amen. Because John was asked to speak at a convention in New York. Mm. And it was one of those conventions they charged 30 beans and people come and what happened was a covenant of witches. Oh. Mm. Which and began to ask for project. Wow. Mm. And kept half of the people away from the convention. Mm. Oh. Wow. So he goes to preach at the convention. It was real close to his home church. Mm. And the witch came in. Mm-hmm. John's preaching. The witch is in. Mm. Paul and Barnabas is there in the sorcerer. Amen. Yes. Wow. So the witch comes in, and the pastor says, this is the witch that came against my convention. So the witch comes down to the altar. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> that That's it. John blames the devil. The demon throws her down upon the floor. She levitates. He cast a demon down her. She gets saved and filled with the Holy Ghost and serve God today. Come on, God. How much of God do you want? Basically, what the devil saying without me is, <clears throat> I'm looking at the pew here. 
she started, she learned a long time that you know, I look at the piano, I picture the piano, if I look at some people. <laughs> He'll come to your garden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear a voice in your garden yes. that God has given you. You hear a little garden of Eden. The blessings, the favor of God, you hear a voice. Has God said, trying to get you to doubt God's word. Yes. yes. And he wants us to make choices that will get us out of the presence of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have God said, God's trying to keep something from you. Here's basically what the devil's <coughs> saying. Wow. I'm going to look at the wall back there. Is, <laughs> is there anyone stupid enough to give away what great thing God has for hell? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's right. Can I find someone, someone wise? To trade it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because if you realize what you have, no witch, no warlock, no sorcerer. Yeah. No one, nothing, or it would be a threat to you again. Amen. You have been given power and authority over all the power. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes. Figured out who the enemy is. I saw him in the mirror. Amen. Satan has no power over me unless I give it Amen. to him. Amen. That is so true. Is there anyone so unwise that would listen to me, the devil, over Jesus? Amen. I 